Welcome back aliens, my name is Levin Reddy and in this video we'll see how to install Node.js and Visual Studio Code on Windows machine. Now see, you can do this code on different OS if you are using Linux or Mac or Windows. Uh, it works on all the systems, so Node.js and VS Code works on all different platforms. And first of all, for the if you want to continue with the series, if you want to see how the basics of Node.js, uh, you can use any IDE which you prefer. I will be using Visual, uh, VS Code, which works perfectly for Node.js, so you can use that. And it also has some extensions you can use. Now, first, you need to verify in your system, do you have Node.js? See, the thing is, when you install, when you work on some projects, or when you have, when you install some softwares, there might be a chance that those projects or the softwares need Node.js as a dependency. So maybe in your machine, you might be having Node.js by default. So how do you verify? So you can just go to CMD or your command prompt, maybe terminal or command prompt. And here you can simply search for Node V, uh, which is version. So if it is giving you the version, that means Node is installed. Uh, so you can continue with that. Otherwise, it will show uh, Node is not recognized. So that's perfect, right? So in this machine, I don't have Node. Now the thing is, uh, even if you have Node installed in, in your machine, it might be an old version. And we want to work on the new versions, right? At least the second last version, not the latest. Uh, so let's install Node or let's upgrade Node if you have. Uh, so the best option is if you already have Node in your machine, just remove it so that you can, you can do a fresh installation. So what we will do is, to install Node, let's go to the official website of Node.js. So let's go to browser and search for Node.js and this and it will give you a list of websites. And of course, we need to go to the official one, which is Node.js.org. And if you can go there, before installation, I just want to show you the website. It, it tells you a lot of things. The first thing it says is Node.js is a JavaScript runtime, okay, so which we have talked about this in the earlier video. Uh, built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. So it is built on V8 as we have discussed. Um, and and if you go to the ob about a section of Node.js, you can see it, it gives you a sample example. It explains the concept it supports, uh, why it is event driven, why it is uh, asynchronous, and you can have a look, on, look, look at those things. But we want to go to the back to the home and you can see we have an option of download for Windows. Now, depend upon what OS you have, uh, if you're using Linux, Mac and Windows, it works on all the uh, different OS. And if you can just click on the downloads uh, tab, it will give you different options. Uh, there are two things actually here. One is LTS and second is current. LTS is long term support. Uh, whenever you go, go with the LTS version, that means it will having a longer support. Uh, we want to go for the current one. And while you are learning, you can choose any one, right? You can choose LTS or you can use choose current one. But yes, when you when you, when you are going for a production software, when you are building the the real projects, then you have to think about these versions. Now, when you click on current, of course, depend upon which OS you have, you, you can choose. Uh, I'm using Windows and 64-bit, so I'll be using 64-bit uh, MSI. So you can just click on this, and it will download the Node.js for you. So as you can see, I have the Node.js set up in my machine and we just have to install this. Now how do you install it? Uh, it's very simple, right? You just have to double click it and it will give you some options. You have to say next, you don't have a, and we don't have a choice. We have to accept the agreement, uh, say next. And this is a path you have to mention. Of course, the default works, say next. Nothing much here. Uh, it says add to the path. Yes, it will be adding to the path. Let's do that. Um, okay, now this is important. This is an important tab. So, so it says automatically install the necessary tools. Uh, note that this will also install Chocolatey. Now, Chocolatey is a NPM for for Windows, and we have talked about NPM before, right? So, it's a very handy tool. So, I would rec I would recommend you to take this and uh, say installation. It might take more time. Uh, so, when you say take, and it will download a lot of different tools for Node.js. And if you are serious about this make sure that you have all those tools available with you. Say next and click on install. Uh, yes. That will take some time to do for the installation. Now, as you can see, uh, the setup is complete. Uh, you just have to click on finish. Now, since I'm doing this for the second time, it has not given me extra prompts, which I got in the first installation. So you might get those prompt uh, about installing the chocolatey and it will take more space. Uh, so you just have to say yes and click on install. Now, once you click on finish, you can see, oh, it is still continuing. But oh, that's the prompt I was talking about. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so it is downloading the extra tools. So first it will get the latest version of Chocolatey. And by the time it gets the installation, let's head towards the website of Chocolatey. So let's go to the website of Chocolatey. Now if you search for Chocolatey, this is a website. Uh, so it's a package manager for Windows. So we can use this tool for the extra modules you want. Okay, so everything is done. It has installed the software. Click on enter. And I guess we have the setup ready now. But how do we verify this? And for this, you have to go to go back to your command prompt and say node v and oh, it is still not installed. Maybe I have to restart my cmd command prompt. And let's say we and you can see that we got the node version. So node version is 13.13, which is the, which is the current release. So you can use that. Okay. Now once you got node and I mean, depend upon when you're watching this video, maybe after, after one year, you might be having a new version. Uh, so even if you have a new version, it might work. The thing is it goes for three different releases, you know, three different version systems. Uh, in fact, we'll talk about that in detail later, but we have the bug fixes, which, so the last part will change depend upon the bug fixes. The middle part will change based on the minor, minor increments. And the first part will change depending upon the major increments. And whenever you get a minor increment or patches, it will not change much in the system. But yes, if you have a major version, it might be having some new features. It might remove the old features. So you need to check those things as well. Okay, now once you got Node, of course, we want to write some code. We want to run the first code. Of course, whenever you learn a new language, a new framework, or a new tool, the first thing you do is you run Hello World. We want to do that here first. But of course, we'll not be doing that in this video, but we need some software for that. Where do you write your code? And for that, you need an editor. You can use Notepad as well, okay? But we'll be using some advanced editors, which is one of them is VS Code. Uh, in this machine, I do have VS Code. And if you want to install VS Code, just go to Google, search for VS Code. That's the website. Download the setup. It's very easy to, to install VS Code actually. Click on download for Windows and it will do the installation. Now how it looks like. So I do have the VS Code setup here. Let me open that. And that's how VS Code looks like, which is Visual Studio Code. Uh, this, this is where you can create folders, you can create files and you can run it. In fact, you can use VS code for all different programmings, for all different frameworks. It supports majority of them. Uh, so you can use it. So that's it from this video where we have talked about how to install node and how to install VS code. In fact, we have not seen the installation of VS code. You know how, how it works. So that's it from this video. In the next video, we'll see the first code. Or uh, we'll, we'll write hello, hello world, we'll do some addition of two numbers just to understand how this tool works. So that's it everyone. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.